Hello and welcome to Cloudy Kent, more specifically Prince's Park as Bath City travel to Dartford FC to continue their Vanarama National League South journey after progression in the FA Cup mid-week. Our city with one win and one loss so far this season, both by a 2-0 scoreline. Travel to a team that's scored one goal in the league this season but sits on four points after two matches. The referee just checking with both goalkeepers before we get underway here at Princess Park. Dartford versus Bar City. And uh, had a false start. I think it was a false on the team sheet as well. I think number 10 is Jack Jeb and number 11 is Elliot Romain, but I'm going to get that cleared up. Yeah, I wasn't totally certain of that. We are now underway, I think. No, not quite started correctly. Passing the ball off the back. Here is Bonner. He's out to his left back, Graham Barrett. He's coming forwards now, not back here. But ball start for trying to play the ball in behind. Batten nods it away. It's cleared on by Leak, but only as far as Dartford looking to come forward as a quick dash down the side for Barnum Bob. He's got the ball now on this side, looking to get beyond Hines. Does so. He's got into a good crossing area, come in, but Batten gets it away. Dartford looking to shift the ball out to the far side to Graham Barrett. Delivers it into the middle, and it's got in, it's headed off of the tide of Jack Batten. It's out immediately for a Dartford corner. Dartford starting very quickly here. Here's Haseen, finds Jeb, looking to flick in behind, here's Remain, he's onside down the left-hand side, looks to get it in off of Leak and it's over the top of the bar. Dartford screaming for a handball and a penalty, but referee staunch in his belief that that was a corner. Yeah, one thing to float in, having uh, scored in a week as well, Jeb. Jeb delivers this one hard in towards the near post and it's a good head. Well, I think Ronnie Vint at the near post. A bit of a chance at Jack Batten running out, but fortunately it worked out in the end as a Harley sent a long free kick. Here is Tomlinson inside the Dartford area down the side. It's good feet from him, but it's deflected. Comes back, but once again deflected away by the Dartford defence. Ball played long, but to straight to Bray and Barrett. And Jeb gets the ball, turns, looking to get Barham in behind. Buff said he wants an offside, but it's not given. Here's Barham, looks to curl it into the far corner. Thierry on restart, but he didn't quite have the finish. Ball's wanted by Jed. Barnum Bob's overlapping outside him very quickly, and it's not the best pass from the Dartford midfielder. Nor has seen playing forward. Berkeley Agupong, top of the box, looks to shoot, and it's just wide of the far post. And it's well worked as well. Evans in down the side, looks to flash it across, and it's not quite found above City Foot. Tomlinson looks to the sky, he's thinking maybe he should have got there, but that was great work from Callum Evans and Tom Smith down the side. Jeb out towards Vint, but headed away by uh, Dan Ball. Here's Freddie Hines, gets away and takes the foul off Noor Haseen. I think he's going to receive a yellow card here for the slightly cynical trip just inside the Bar City half. Getting out and towards the left flank to put a ball into the box, which does come into Sparham. Just sit down on the edge of the area, looks to shoot and is over the top of the bar. No let up though, Dartford play it quickly in towards Remain in the penalty area, he's able to turn and it's just sort of squirmed behind for a goal kick once again. Not the best finish in the end by Elliot Remain. Akipong out to Bar Bray and Barrett trying to get forwards up towards Elliot Remain just inside the penalty area on that left hand side, spins well to get in behind and it's in towards the near post. Tom Pope tries to get it away and Ryan Clark forced to clear it to Yes, avoid it being a back pass. Brian Barrett once again delivers the cross away from Barham by Jack Batten. Remains touch isn't the best and I believe gives away a goal kick. Bar City had the ball back with Harley. He's got time and space to move into and he's used it. Plays it out towards Tom Smith who's got, also got some time. He's got a man around the outside but he comes in, looks to shoot and once again it's deflected. Jeb on the corner. Let's deliver it once again. Clip towards the far post. Winter battling for it but Barham ball gets away. Vint. Berkeley Agupong, back out to the central midfield partner Jake Jeb who delivers the ball, it's a good cross, whipped in towards the centre, they come out here's Winter, gets the ball and tries to turn, Freddie Hines trying to desperately not to commit a foul there, Steve King thought he did, more Haseen and Tomlinson in a battle, headed away by Hines but only as far as Haseen, Haseen gets the ball, turns, it's a quick step over on the edge of the penalty area, Jake Jeb, Jeb looks to shoot and it's blocked away, but here they come once again, Berkeley Agupong, 
There's Jeb. Jeb looking to get Barham in behind, but Barham said he can counter here. It's great work from Brady Hines to vault Jazzy Barnum Bob, and he's away down the left here for Barham Hines. Barham said he looks to deliver it across, finds Tomlinson, his touch isn't good enough, and it's cleared away by Ronnie Vint, but that was nearly a great opportunity for Barham to counter. should be booked here, Barham Bob, for that lunging challenge, and he is good refereeing. Hines has seen. He's got a couple of bodies in orange around him and it's good work there by Jack Batten on the stretch. Tommy Conway now looking to come forwards, trying to get away from Winter, finds Tom Smith who's driving through the middle. He's got a man outside him, he uses Ryan Harley. Harley fakes one way, goes the other, inside now, 30 yards from goal. Evans gets around the side, delivers it quickly and towards the near post and once again agonisingly close to Tomlinson putting the ball in the back of the net. I think it was, he was offside as the linesman's got his flag up but I said he once again, Callum Evans with a great ball into the middle. Evans crosses the halfway line, looks to deliver it once again. It's a great ball. Hines offside and headed it into the arms of Craig King. Ronnie Vint to Tom Bonner. Plays it long up towards Barham, who does get the flick on Elliot Romain, gets then and gives it back to Jeb, who shoots, but over the bar. Winter. Dartford at the second time asking, do make it stick, and here is Berkeley Agibon. It's a good run across, but Tom Smith's siding challenge is penalised. He's having a word with Tom Smith, and Credit's player managed to skip the challenge, didn't go to ground. In fact, Smith's going to go into the book. Looks to flick it up, Jake Jeb gives it back out to Bray and Barrett. The referee is gone, and that is half time at Prince's Park. Dartford nil, Bath City nil, a very difficult half for Bath for the Romans but they've weathered the storm pretty well there. So it'll be Bath City to get this second half eventually underway. As we said there's no extra time in cup competitions this season but it feels like there has been in this. It's going to finish as late as it would have been with extra time. Tomlinson over the ball, referee checks his whistle and at last away we go for the second half as Ryan Hardy sends it over to the left hand side and puts it straight back into the touch for throwing the Dartford free kick which he does. It should be Ryan Clark's. Yeah, poor delivery. Goalkeeper to goalkeeper claims it just inside his box and he bowls it. Oh, that's a terrible throw out from Clark. And it's given straight back to Husson in the box. Drills it across the middle and it nearly connected with Romain and it's gone wide in the end for a goal kick. Vint helps it back from where it came. It's now picked up in the middle. Referee plays advantage. It's with Brian Barrett in space down the left hand side near the corner of the penalty. It sends a hanging one towards the back post. Clark just gets enough on it and the follow up is. Clark's still on the floor, Dartford can't force it in for the moment, Romain shoots, it's blocked, it's out on the edge of the box and it's drilled into the back of the net, it's Hussein who managed to get it through a crowd of bodies and it was the initial ball from Brian Barrett caused all sorts of problems and after this uh, long delayed start to the second half, Dartford haven't taken long to score in it, 52 minutes gone, Dartford won, Bath City nil. I think maybe Ryan Clark's the one who hasn't come out for the second half yet, he's had that dodgy moment the ball out there he's flapped it across that time nearly recovered well and possibly slightly unfortunate the ball kept coming or has seen maybe not the best strike and he's not quite got down quick enough there and Dartford have taken the lead Conway's won it back now Hines is up ahead of him Conway's trying to burst clear and he's and so only brushed aside from Ronnie Vint and the notebook for the referee is out for the fourth time this afternoon Harley looks like he's going to go for a cross so the Dartford have a disciplined line on the edge of the box he does cross it to the back post he's headed back across goal an important interception Batten with a volley and it's just gone wide through a crowd of volleys Batten who not known for his goals about City of course obviously missed last season he hasn't scored for over 18 months and couldn't quite find the bottom corner goal to nil not nor has seen if you think you're tuning into the closing stages you ain't there's another half an hour to go Evans with a low one it's a good one Hines gets a touch and the flag goes up uh, he threaded it through so many bodies there Callum Evan Pope who threads it through the ball. He's asking a little bit of ball, but he manages to keep it in, a 28-year-old. Now back to Smith, forced to the left-hand side. Good ball in behind, flag stays down to Tomlinson, just near the scoreboard here. Nice Smith, good footwork, but tap momentarily breaks down. It's Tomlinson on the edge of the box. Tomlinson shoots and curls it over the top of the bar, but decent move from Val City, just again, yet to record that shot on target. Now back with Ronnie Vint on the right-hand side. Now Jeb, again. Chips it behind, flag stays down this time, it looks a right decision as Romain picks up, what a ball that is and in the end it's Barham in the middle, six yards out, who's put it over, okay it was a little bit of fizz on the ball but Barham should have kept it down and he should have doubled the lead. 
whether they'll go to a back three or whether Button is tiring. Asking so much football after a long layoff. And now it's through to Hines on the right hand side. He's got Conway in the middle. Hines, neat footwork, corner of the penalty area, inside to Smith. Smith shoots, Walker. curler. Oh, just onto the roof of the net from Tom Smith. That was almost another one of his specials. I think King might have had it covered, but oh, so close. And it remains 1 0. But great effort. Now he picked up from Barham down the right hand side. Button trying to see it behind, and able to do so right near the corner flag. Button and Barham. Barham does so well to twist inside and keep the move alive. It's now Romain bearing down on goals, charged down from a couple of bodies, a shot from Hussein is charged down. As you say, tantalising is a great word for them. Deliveries come in and nothing has come from them, but still time left. Could change yet. Oh, King's made a dreadful error at the back. It's back to Hines, who's offside, and Tom Smith holds his head in his hands. He should have gone for goal. It was King who tried playing it out from his back line, and Smith tried to thread it through to Hines, who looked pretty clearly in an offside position, and an opportunity wasted. City argument is Jack Batten coming off, who's got 72 and a bit minutes under his belt. Well, I think it's tiredness more than anything creeping in. So you know, I'd imagine that Dan Ball is going to go to centre back. And is it Tomlinson? Is the other man coming off? Yeah, it looks like it's Tomlinson. 15 minutes remaining here at Prince's Park. Side looking for their second win of the season. Both teams in their second win at the moment. It's going to be darts to claim it. And fine challenge from Evans. Puts off Barkley Ajimpong, but he's straight onto the loose ball. And now charging towards goal. And ball stuns his ground and keeps it. And then trips Barham, who uh, has a couple of somersaults as he goes to floor. And wins a free kick for his team around 30 yards out. I think Dan Ball is about to pick up a caution for the second time in two games. Indeed he does. He's got five yellows today. Do well to beat Ryan Clark from there, some distance, but you never know. As it's, no, he's never going to, he doesn't get it up and down in time and it goes behind for a goal kick. Lloyd James actually for City is coming on, it's Tom Smith coming off. City's uh, leading goal scorer from last season, it hasn't been his afternoon though. Harley picks it up, just inside his own penalty area, but Dark's in possession as uh, Marsh Brown trying to bundle his way through. Grant clears it towards halfway, but what a strong towering header away that is from Vint and now he finds Barkley Ajimpong 20 yards out trying to work his way through he's still got it somehow and he bends a shot around three or four yards wide somehow he managed to keep possession there Evans looking I think he wanted to go long he's got no options to go long now he throws it in behind to Conway back to Evans can he get across he does low and it's met by Richards at the near post would have done well to direct that goal words he's put it around Four yards wide. Yeah, I've been impressed by Barkley Ajim Pong, when he signed permanently from Aldershot in the summer. What a squad Dartford have got, but Grant's managed to get the other side of his man and fizzes it across. Oh, it's offside. It's touched in almost on the goal line. It was almost another poacher special from Tommy Conway. A terrific ball from Freddie Grant, but Conway is denied by the flag and he's denied a leveller. Freddie Grant does everything right there. Quick step over, gets beyond. It's a brilliant ball. Conway arriving where he, we know he loves to be, tapping the ball home, but he's offside. It's so disappointing. Now James in the centre circle over to Harley. City are piling men forward, but they're going to try and patiently play it on the floor as James finds a bit of space. Now to Conway, 20 yards out on the right-hand side. Evans to the right-hand side. Can he get another ball in? He does. Low, near post. Back to Conway. Conway shoots. Oh, what an incredible block from Winter. And at the moment, the... Danger is averted, back to Grant. Now James on the edge of the box. City got so many men forward and Dartford win it back. What a block that was from Winter. That could be a goal saving, a match winning block as Barkley Ajimpong is racing away in his trip from Laurie James who will pick up a yellow card. But that was goal bound. That was the moment, that was such a great move. Evans once again, his cross splashed in the near post. They've man worked it back to Conway, whose eyes must have lit up to score from such a long distance for him. Dartford have got nine men behind the ball. They've only left Sheringham as an outlet. James manages to find Evans on the right. And it looked like handball from uh, Leek, who's in a bit of room on the right-hand side. And Evans has gone down. There's two appeals for free kicks. Evans has stayed down. Dartford can break. It's four on three down the left-hand side with Sheringham. Hussins to his left. He might want to hold the ball up. He finds Hussin then the left. He's going to try and charge away from Dan Ball down the left. Or maybe he'll be, do the wise thing and keep the ball in the corner. Back heels, it's Sheringham who is wastefully offside. But Richards is in space on the right hand side. Now again with Evans, gets on his left foot. It's not a bad ball and it's well headed away from Bono. We've been saying that so many times this afternoon. How is City going to find a way through here? It's with Hines, 
25 yards out. Hines shoots low, and it's the first shot on target, and it's too close to King, and he manages to gather at the second attempt. This is probably the last second of the game, and indeed it is, and uh, Dartford make it five wins out of five here against Bow City. They make it two 1-0 wins. They still haven't conceded a goal this season in their three games. You can see why, because they were so resolute at the back. Bow City couldn't have done much more. It was a decent enough performance, but they are just cursed to not win here at Princess Park. As Noor Hussein's goal on 52 minutes, the only one which separates the sides, drilled in low. That was after a long break we had at the break when the uh, an assistant referee went off injured. So finally, 20 past five, it's finished. Dartford 1, Bath City 0.